Hi, and welcome to my channel. I style rooms in really unexpected ways using my own artwork. This one is under five minutes. I'm Liz, a watercolor surf artist and interior stylist. And one of the questions I get all the time about my artwork is how do I hang it or how do I style it? So today I'm gonna show you how to style one of my paintings in a really weird combination of like bohemian slash southwestern slash Balinesian inspired bedroom. For most of these, I don't start with a plan. I just sort of open my laptop and just, I, I honestly just like start clicking around and start seeing things and trying to find inspiration. And I just let my brain go wherever it goes. Inspiration usually just comes from one piece. Either it's a painting or a rug or, you know, a side cabinet. For this particular one, I don't know what exactly it was that inspired me, but I wanted it to be a little bit of a darker room, a little bit moodier. And the best way to do that is with paint. And I mean moody paint. So I decided I wanted something with texture and I did some searching around online and found some lime wash paint from Bauwerk Color. For the bed, I initially wanted something that had some leather in it, some wooden accents, um, but I ended up going with this really simple black frame because it just had a lot more contrast to it and it was a really strong anchor for the room. These sconces, you guys, I cannot, they are so cool. And I don't know what made me think of snake sconces, but I honestly think that I was thinking about these tropical jungles in Indonesia and immediately snakes came to mind. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just where I went. <laughs> I go down a rabbit hole at least once when I'm designing these spaces, and this is it. This is, was my rabbit hole. The bedside tables just drove me nuts. I saw these really cool glass side tables, but once I put them in, they just didn't vibe. So I went a totally different direction, and then my computer stopped recording, so. <laughs> Once I got the recording situation figured out, I really wanted to backtrack because I wanted to bring focus to this chair. It is so cool and I picked it for a reason. I picked it because it had so many of the colors from the painting in it, I had to feature it. So I get to this point where I really want to find a rug. And for me, rugs are really important. They're sort of like the artwork of the floor. So I start out at Rejuvenation. It's one of my favorite places to find rugs. I just, I love it here, but it just wasn't doing it for me. Without knowing it, I think I wanted something a little bit more funky and a little bit more modern. And I ended up landing on this gem and she's perfect. I fell in love instantly and knew right away. Now again, my computer had stopped recording at this point, so boom, it's already there. Gotta add some plants, found this one at Pottery Barn. It's a super cool little tree. Get rid of that mirror, she doesn't fit the vibe. And now we are on to bedding. You guys, I, I think I just typed in like cool or unique bedding and this came up. I am absolutely in love, obsessed, need it now, gotta have it, keep watching. I'm gonna like figure out a way to make this work and make it make sense, just watch. So I'm in Canva a lot. I use Canva all the time for this kind of stuff, just playing around for myself. I don't really do this for anybody else but myself. But um, you know, when you're in it a lot, you kind of learn how to manipulate the program. And what I find is that uh, sometimes you need to hide stuff behind other stuff. <laughs> so layering is such a big player when it comes to putting these rooms together for me. As you can see, a bed needs pillows, sofas need pillows, and adding these layers of pillows helps get the point across that the bedding actually fits the bed. It creates the perfect illusion. I love Canva. You've probably noticed by now that as this room is coming together, all of the colors that are found in the bed, in the bedding, the chair, the rug, the paint on the walls, literally everything in this room, every single color can be found in the artwork. And for me, that's sort of the key to making it work. Just because this is coastal artwork doesn't mean that your house has to be coastal or anything like that. 
And this is kind of my point of this whole thing. I wanna show you that my art can fit into more than just one particular style of interior design. And voila, we're finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is it, this is the completed room. I love how it turned out. And if you wanna see me style any other type of room, just write it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos.